Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly reading for April 27th to May 4th. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Okay, let's get this reading started for you, Leo. Woo! Oh, I like how you're showing up here. Oh, you got your back to the five of cups. That's great. The page of wands, you again. Okay. Um, or your energy. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Do you see that? I didn't even have to. Oh, the wheel of fortune at the bottom. That's a lot of cards. Five, six, seven. And then we're going to take these. The seven of wands, the six of cups, the queen of wands, the ten of cups. Okay. Can we talk about this fire water energy going on here with like a dabble of, of earth? Okay, first, take a look at this. You fought so freaking hard for this, okay? You fought so hard for this and now it's yours. You fought so hard to have this. Look at this. You worked your butt off. You didn't give up. You fought for what you felt was important. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune is turning around here. Um, I'm getting very worked up here. Like, um, this is like, uh, oh, like finally, right? Uh, the Queen of Wands, you're showing a very confident, very beautiful, very powerful here. Um, very intelligent, very resourceful, okay? And then we have the Six of Cups. This is something that you've been dreaming for a very long time. This could potentially be part of your life purpose. That And it brings you this 10, which is uh, fulfillment, happiness, emotional fulfillment, now, when I'm looking at all these cards together, what a what a what a journey this week is gonna be. Sorry, I stuttered there for a little bit. What a journey this week is gonna be for you, Leo, because you start off with you, your energy, the strength card. You're you're facing like you're not facing any of this stuff. You're actually facing ahead, like where you're going. Um, and that's great energy to have because it means that you're not focused on the stuff that happened on the past. You're focused on the present moment and what you can do moving forward to be able to support you in your journey, in your quest. Well, there are a couple of things here that I think... Um, may bring you some adversity or some challenges one the five of cups you know you have your back face to it when this, with the strength card but you are still looking at some things like uh maybe a uh, spilt milk right things that maybe didn't work out or the fear or the illusion of these things kind of coming back into your life and 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 impacting you or creating some type of challenge or obstacle in your life then we have the page of wands all right you may be feeling like some things didn't take off the ground properly, or you may be feeling, Leo, like not everything worked out like you wanted it to, or you may be feeling like there was a couple of things in your life that are coming up this week, especially with the full moon in Scorpio, where you had an idea, you had the opportunity, you had a vision, but it couldn't manifest itself into what you desired it to be. And so you're walking away from these things. Really important with this full moon energy for you to walk away from absolutely everything that's not serving you okay this is about healing this is about purging this is about letting go this is about detaching in order to make more space for new things to enter into your life all right you may feel like there's some resistance in your life this week you may even be resistant to, to the idea of leaning into walking away from this stuff like you might be determined to make it work or i believe if i do it a different way then this will work you know what i mean and, and what i will say to you is sometimes the more that we try to hold on to something the more challenging it becomes and when we let go of that idea and we surrender the things will fall to place as they're meant to and what i see things falling into place for you is actually not a bad thing at all with the other cards and with this i really see things falling into place for you like you are divinely guided and divinely protected as things are working out for you a lot of abundance your way you're working really hard you're financially stable financially independent a self-made person you're tapping into that intuition into that creativity into that psychic ability into your emotions and those emotions are not overwhelming you nor are they controlling you but you're tapping into that compassion that kindness that gentleness in order to connect with this limitless uh very financially stable and financially independent energy regardless of whether you're masculine or feminine i do apologize for the noise in the background neighbors are doing some work but i gotta work too so we're making it work okay 
All right, let's see what's going on here with the, okay, Cancer is here and Cancer is here. Um, things around the home may be impacting you this week, like if you should move, what kind of home you have, if you're happy where you live, if you maybe want to um, upgrade or design or even what feels home to you. So like your physical body, you might be thinking about how you're taking care of it or how you're not taking care of it, what you need to do to focus more on self-care, self-love, all right? Last quarter, transition, letting go, forgiveness, adaptation. Yeah, walking away from the things is going to support you for your highest good um like i said sometimes we try and hold on to things thinking that if we hold on they'll end up working out or we'll make them be what we want them to be and the reality is is sometimes things just reach their expiry date right whether they be where we're living work opera contracts friendships relationships ideas all sorts of things right and while you may feel a little bit of grief and so honor that grief that you're feeling this week i understand that losing something is an opportunity opportunity to appreciate it. I am so sorry for that. Um, I thought they were done doing the big noise. Clearly not. Um, so while I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, I think it's about you recognizing how far you've come, Leo. Okay. Acknowledging where you were maybe a year or two, three, five, ten years ago, and then seeing where you are today and recognizing that you deserve um, and, and have the capability and the ability to be able to have exactly what you desire in your life but maybe it's not the way that you thought it was going to manifest itself in all right if you're interested in a live reading take a look at the description box below to book with me it's a one hour live interactive reading if you want to shop over at starcy jewels and pick up your modern day amulet for yourself as a treat or in mother's for mother's day there's a 20 percent discount going on right now link in the bio i currently only have bracelets up but there are necklaces that are going to be released fairly soon into your love reading we have finances and career worth waiting for and pay attention to the red flags okay for some of you you could very well be walking away from a relationship this has been an energy and the the pluto retrograde and the full moon in scorpio do talk about that it could be with somebody who potentially drinks a lot or um might not necessarily be emotionally stable yeah um somebody who's potentially controlling that you're walking away from or a relationship that you're really trying hard to um like keep together uh but it's just not working out i what i am seeing here this is a very specific message so i apologize if it doesn't resonate with every one of you but the finances and career with the name of cups it almost makes me feel like um this person um could potentially be immature in their delivery um could like get enraged and angry very quickly or could be very manipulative or toxic in the way that they speak okay um and the finances and career in your life is becoming a, a place of contention or a place of conflict like for example maybe they make more money than you or you make more money than them and there's like a uh, it feels very controlling around money then worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life with the king of pentacles um i really feel like you know leo for some of you watching this you may attract people that are not for your highest good and this week you're you know the the scorpio full moon really has you recognizing the type of relationships that you've attracted in the past and whether or not they're high vibrational connections or whether they're relationships that are really toxic it's almost like toxic relationships are coming up a lot in this reading and then the pay attention to the red flags signs are caught Questioning you okay when I see that with the ten of wands it's almost like how hard is your relationship relationships are about respect boundaries and compromise they're also about love but there comes a point in time when you have to ask yourself is a relationship more work than it is happiness and if a relationship is way more work than it is happiness then it's a clear sign that it's time for the relationship to kind of fall um, fall away or to reassess how and what needs to change in the relationship for you to see happiness and feel happy again because if you're not feeling those things in this current moment in time, then this relationship is not for you. All right. Okay, Leo, that is exactly your reading. If you're interested in a private live one hour reading or shopping over at Starcy Jewels and taking advantage of the discount, take a look at the description box below. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.